Hi everyone, welcome back to Biological Imaging. I'm Joe DeGeorgis. This week I want to start photographing marine invertebrates using the stereo microscopes in the laboratory. And I came to one of my favorite collecting spots, the docks of Sandwich, Massachusetts, to collect some marine invertebrates. And I'm going to collect a few things that are growing on the dock or some of these float balls behind me. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So this is a float ball. It's a, it's a bumper. Boats pull in here and that this keeps the boat off the dock and I'm just going to get some water for my bucket. And then I'm going to spin this over. This has probably been here for a very long time. And where the ball has been in the ocean, there's a bunch of different types of marine organisms growing on the ball and for instance these are some blue mussels oh there's a feather whoops Let's see if i can do that again these are cyana intestinales i'll show you that when we get into the lab metridium which are a type of anemone one of my favorites a whole host of things growing on this line. Look at this. These are Siona. These are Metridium and these are our blue mussels. Yeah, this is what some of these guys look like. These are the Siona intestinales here and a bunch of other stuff growing in this clump. And we'll stick that in the bucket. I'm gonna get some clean water here. Okay, there we go. We have a bucket of critters, and I'm going to bring this back to school, and we'll have a chance to photograph some of this. Be some really interesting things in there. Okay, I came to another dock, so I thought I'd just collect a few more animals before we go and I'm gonna collect them on this dock piling here and I'll show you. Okay, once again, I'm gonna get a little seawater in my bucket. And see if I can reach down here. These are more Siona. A few more. Here's a rope. 
I always like to collect stuff off the ropes. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Let's go back to school. Okay, so we're back in the classroom and we're at the touch tank and there are some marine animals in the bottom of the tank here or like this. Let's see if I can get this guy off. Uh, this green sea urchin, again, Strongylos introtus trabachiensis. Uh, and then I put a screen here, which I'm going to put the animals we just collected into this screen. So you can take animals from the bottom here, or you can take them from the screen. Here's a net if you want to dig down and grab something. So let me, let me show you the animals in the bucket. Okay, so here's our two buckets of critters. And you can blow up this a little bit, I think. Oops. There. So the yellow critters there that have little tubes, those are called Siona intestinalis. Um, there's some blue mussels in there and uh, anemones and other critters growing on the surface of the, um, of the mussel shell. Let's see if I can show you one. Well, there's a small one here, which will look great under the microscope. And then there's some limpet, mollusks, and other things growing on here. So I think you'll see a lot once you put this under the microscope and, and blow it up and start looking around at different critters. It should be pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to place these into the screen. There. Okay, so I have my finger bowl with seawater in it that I filled with the gallon jugs. There's one at each station. And I have my black cloth as my background. And I'm just going to grab something that we can look at. So I have a blue mussel with four or five small anemones, metridium they're called, on it. So I'm going to take a look at that uh, in the microscope and see what we get.